All right. Now to get these carburetor parts clean, I uh, I am in the habit of using this product here by Berryman, this Chem Dip carburetor parts cleaner. And when you buy this gallon, inside comes a plastic basket. And uh, I'm going to take well, what it is. I took the uh, the rubber parts off. Uh, I'm going to just leave the primer bulb on there for now. Take all the parts, set them in the basket, in the needle valve, and the float. Take this little washer off of here. Put that in the basket. And that should that should be all. So we put that in there. And we let it soak. Alright, while we're waiting for the carburetor to, to clean in the carb cleaner, um, we'll get these other parts cleaned up a little bit. Got my inexpensive little parts cleaner here from Harbor Freight. One thing that helps a little bit is one of these little scotch bite pads. Pick these up pretty much anywhere. Um, this one I swiped from my wife. Don't tell her. So now when you get your parts all clean, I bring them into the sink and I rinse them down with good hot water. And if need be, if there's any places where water might stay in the part, like in a funky nook or cranny, sometimes I'll grab my wife's hair dryer and I'll heat the part up, get it good and warm, force any water that's in there to, uh, to evaporate off. So I don't want any surprises once I get that engine back together. Alright, we'll go inside, we'll rinse these off, and we'll get back to the rest of the carburetor. Alright, now it's time to get my carb parts out of my can. And then, even though it's been sitting in carb cleaner, I actually have to use a can of carb cleaner to spray off this carb cleaner. that dry 
and we'll start getting it back together and put it on the engine. All right, to speed up the drying process, I decided to get the air compressor out. And uh, what we're going to do is not get too close if we can help it. Or be careful uh, not to damage anything. But just use the air to blow out the wet and clear some more holes. I think that'll do it.